Well, hello everybody, this is Etho. Welcome back, guys, to another episode whoa, of Crash Landing. <laughs> so while I was sitting here sifting my dust, I got to thinking, what was the story of how I got to this planet? What happened exactly? And I figure I must have had a partner. I, I wasn't alone. I think, I think I had a partner that was flying the spaceship, and he crashed. Because obviously I'm a great flyer. There's no way I crashed the spaceship. He crashed it. And he died in the crash, and now I'm stuck here, and I can't even yell at him because he's dead, and I'm sad about that. Yeah, that's a pretty weird story, but I think that's what happened. And that's why there's two two seats, not just one. Huh? Huh? Makes sense? I think so. I think I figured it out. Okay, so <laughs> last tip. Sorry about that. That was a terrible story. <laughs> last episode we made... Oh, I got a fish? We made this little automatic sifter thing, which is barely automatic, <laughs> but I only have the one hopper, so it's the best I could do, guys. I'm sorry. Um, let's see, let's drop some stuff off here. Clean up our inventory a bit. Oh, that fish looks delicious, doesn't it? <gasps> I can make a walrus. Guys, I might have to save that for the walrus. Or I could eat it. Ooh, you know, I should probably eat it. <laughs> we'll make a walrus one day. You'll see. Ooh, we got some water there. Good. Um, currently, I think I'm all out of water. Oh, I got just a little bit left there. So the big news from last episode, it turns out, you guys told me, this quest that I've been stuck on for so long, <laughs> the hammer I need is not a Tinker's Construct hammer. There's another mod with a hammer. I think the survival mod, um, and it, it's apparently really cheap, and I, I could have made it a long time ago. Yeah, look at this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make one of those right away here so we can get through this quest. Um, and apparently I didn't use this to smash cobblestone into gravel and then gravel into, into sand and then sand into dust, so it's really an important tool. All right. Oh, we're not done. There's weapons. No, don't make me make more things. Bone knife, bone crossbar. Hmm. Oh, look at this fish. Amazing. Oh, I'm a. You got. You guys don't know this, but I'm a. I'm a cook. I'm a chef. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, our jerky's ready. Look at this. Awesome. Uh, let's make a little bit more. Don't know. Nobody said anything. But is there a benefit to hanging these outside compared to inside? Like, do they convert quicker? Um, I probably have to go outside here. I don't want to, but these guys are going to be on the roof forever until we kill them. Like, they're not going to despawn. Oh, thank you, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, you you suck. <laughs> Is there more? Look at this guy. I got a gun, too. Oh, he, the little spider's getting him. Take him out. Nice. Oh, you are you're the best. That's why I killed you. You're too good. You can't be better than me. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I, that was like a slow motion thing for me. I don't know. Like when I saw that spider, he like froze in midair for me, and I knew exactly when to hit him or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, maybe we will try to make a little more cobble here, too. I don't want to stand close to this because it makes me thirsty. This is, m like, the most terrible automatic cobblestone generator you've ever seen. And I'm going to have to do that because I don't have any dust. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have done that. I can't get that back, can I? I can if I do this. And that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's break this. This cobble is really important to us. Uh, maybe we'll check out these trees too. So l this is the silkworm tree. It fully converted. I don't know if there's a trick to it. We we got some string there. Kind of thought we would get a ton of silkworms too. 
So I think I can make a bed now with all this string and then skip the night if we want to. Um, that could be good. I do kind of need these mob drops though to stay alive, I think. So we'll have to do it in, in balance still. Yeah, we're getting lots of string. Oh, and lots of silkworms. That's that's pretty good. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and make another one of these silkworm trees because they're pretty, pretty important. All right. Yeah, because we can we can eat these silkworms too. This is like a food tree, pretty much. There we go. Because we got five bonus silkworms from that. That's that's really good. All right. Um, oh, <laughs> that looks weird. The silkworm in my inventory. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna chop trees and leaves until nighttime here, and then we'll do some more quests inside. Oh, I just realized. You know what? I can't sleep. If I let the mob spawn, because they're it's gonna give me the mobs are too close. Warning, you guys, you stupid kids, <laughs> get off my lawn! Oh, these creepers are the worst. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to sleep this way. I don't think. I'll make a bed though, just so we have it. And then, oh, what was that? I just saw something weird. Is that a scarf? Woven cloth. Oh, okay, you can make leather that way. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I thought that was a scarf. It's like, <laughs> why would I wear a scarf? Uh, okay, there's the bed. Oh yeah, I made a water bottle because we're all out again. Uh, I ch chopped down a bunch of trees. We're actually really hungry right now. Okay, I'm going to try to put it here, I guess. But yeah, can't sleep. Um, we do have lots of dirt composted here. That's good. I think I can automate the composting if I get two hoppers. Like one to put in and one to pull it out the bottom. And then we can get rid of some of these barrels too, which would be cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to do? Oh my goodness, <laughs> so annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and make that knife that we need for the quest. Uh, so we're going to have to make a few more of these uh, Tinker's Patterns. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a war. Like a war zone right now. Constant explosions. Um, as long as they don't kill me, I don't mind. They make it kind of fun, actually. Alright, so we need a knife pattern and I think the crossbar. Is that the knife? Yes, it is. And then the crossbar. There you are, right there. Found you. Okay. So, go to our part builder. Can we do two of these at once? Is that what this second square is for? And then, like... No, I don't think so. <laughs> Darn. Uh, if we take that out... I thought that would work. I guess not. Ouch! Okay, there we go. And take the bone meal. Good, good put these patterns away. I can't put the blank patterns in the chest, can I? No. I wonder why. Alright, did we finish the quest? By the way, I picked up the glass that fell in the water out there, I, in case some of you commented about that. <laughs> um, like when I went outside originally, I almost lost some glass, and then I found it later. And open, and manual detect, there we go. Oh, there's a third step to it even. Armor. It says, careful, armor can affect your temperature. Oh. Metal armor tends to be hot during the day and cold at night. Leather and wood armor just add a little heat no matter the time. The best armors can help you stay cool in the heat and warm in the cold. Experiment cautiously. That's that's kind of cool. So the, the junky armors don't affect your temperature mu much, but the good ones, you probably drink a lot of water. A lot more water when you wear them. Alright, um, how do we make those then? How's my food? I'm still okay. Chest piece. What is this? Hardened leather chest. Oh. Beeswax. This is the one we need. Oh, it's this logs. Okay. So it's probably the vanilla. 
classic recipe, just in log form. Good. This is great because we really need armor. <laughs> I am scared to go outside every day. Um, do that and that. Good. I probably won't wear the chest, although now it might not detect it now that I put them on. Oh, it did. Good. Um, let's drop off some stuff here so we can claim the reward. Alright. Good, good. So we have to pick one of these. I wonder what the best choice is. We get this, which you can make a cutlass out of. That's a good weapon. Bronze axe head, obsidian arrowhead, or heart canister. I think the heart canister is the way to go, right? Let's put that away for right now. You guys out there, you don't steal it. This is my heart canister. And I'll drop off this. Hopefully that unlocked a bunch of quests, because we didn't really have a lot there. Oh, it did! Look at all these! Holy! <laughs> it unlocked a ton of them. All these are new. Everything... Everything branching from this one. Oh, this is awesome, because I think we did this one. Yeah. Alright. Oh, and look at these rewards! These are exactly what I want. Automation stuff. And we get to pick a special thing here. I wonder... I think I'm going to go with the iron just because we really need it. I'm worried though I might not be able to get cantaloupe seeds any other way. I'm doing the iron though. We'll see what happens. Is this rice? Hunger Games. Well, things are looking a little less desperate. Maybe. Still, without a stable food supply, you won't last long. Oh, I'll show you. You can't... You and... <laughs> You and use a watering can. <laughs> you and use a watering can to help grow crops. So we need, oh, we need ten rice and ten rice seeds, and we get an orange sapling. Ooh, and toast. We need the food. Tell you what, let's uh, put this away. We already have four rice seeds, and I'm gonna put a hopper over top of the the barrel here. I want to try this. Can we automate this? If we put leaves in here... Oh my goodness, that's amazing. <laughs> Is there an automated crafting t table in this thing? Crafting... I'm guessing there's at least a machine that does it. I'm hoping there's a cheap one though. No. I don't see it. So I'm sure there's a... Th like we got the... The one from Thermal Expansion, I'm sure. I forget what that was called, though. Auto Packager? Mm. Man, I forget what the crafting tables are called. Let's not worry about it right now, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and grow some of these uh, rice seeds. Like so. I'll be back in one second. All right, well, it just turned daytime, guys. The mobs burned up, so we should go outside soon. I ran totally out of bone meal, pretty much. We just got the five pieces left. Oh, and there's a little bit in there. Let's do this. Good. Uh, we actually need some water right now, too, again. Mm. Let's make a bunch. Starting to get a pretty good, co pretty good collection of dirt. Let's put that in. I did the rice quest. Manual submit, claim reward. Oh, what do we tick? Tick? Take. <laughs> what do we take? Coffee. Gotta go for coffee. I love coffee. Does that unlock anything? No. Um, Night Fright. Oh, is this a kill mobs quest? I like that. Cue heroic music. Okay. But yeah, we can't waste too much time here. We actually do have to go outside. So, let's get our liquid H2O intake going. This finished. Good. And kind of needed some food. Can I eat toast on its own? Or is that a waste? Hmm. I got things to do here. Got to hurry. Um... It says nourishing light meal. I'm going to try it. I'm guessing it's like for other recipes though. That gave a lot of food. 
Whoa, how many bars is that? It's like two bars. It's definitely the best food I've I've gotten so far. Oh, did I not replant here? I'm gonna plant a coffee seed. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go outside. Gotta go outside. And run. Oh, I still never loaded that. I thought I did. Whew. Whew. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Oh, that guy is huge. <laughs> That's where the creepers are. Don't blow up. Oh, darn it. Well, probably lost a bunch of drops there. And get up. I'm low on health now, so I have to be careful. Here, let's check the roof. There's usually lots of goodies on the roof. Because we didn't really find any bones out here. Which is what I mostly needed. Hmm. Oh, here's an idea. They always get trapped in this corner. Oh, there's some bones there. Can we suffocate them? Yes. <laughs> we gotta do that every day, I think. Aw. <laughs> Stupid guy blew up. And he actually destroyed the blocks? I don't want to stand there. <laughs> Why did he blow up like that? Yay. Really didn't get much out of that. I'm going to remove these two. Okay. Uh, what what should we throw out, throw away here? Mm. What? <laughs> oh, is it nighttime? Or is it raining? It might be raining. It can't be nighttime already. I just got outside. Uh, let's, let's go inside. I don't trust this. Something's going on. Man, we only got two bones. That's like what I really needed there. And I am getting really, really hungry. So, let's eat some more toast. Good stuff. What can we use this with? To make grilled cheese, stuffed mushrooms, and pretty much only complicated stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this then. Because that's not happening anytime soon. Oh yeah. Doing good, doing very good. Let's put this stuff away. Got tons of gunpowder that day. Um <laughs> what should we do next? So there's that. Even hotter. With a furnace up, you can now take your next step. Look by the port engine, the one not currently on fire. Apparently the water reclamation leaked a little and has turned some of the dust to clay. Dig it up and make a crucible. Stick a torch under that. And not only can you melt cobble to lava, oh, but you can smelt ore dust to ingots if you provide it with a faucet and a casting table or basin. This is like a Tinker's Construct thing, isn't it? Huh, like a mini smeltery type thing, maybe. That's cool. Ore multiplication. You're going to need lots of iron to make the most efficient use of the ore. You have to. You have gathered. It is time to build a better way to turn ore dust into ingots. Okay. We need seared bricks for that one. So that they're talking about this clay outside here, I'm assuming. Doesn't seem like any mobs are spawning. Even though it's dark. Let's grab this. How much is here, I wonder? Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Darn it. I think there's quite a bit here, actually. I'm going to temporarily block this water. That was weird. Did I misclick there? There is four pieces. Hmm. That might be it then. 
Okay. Alright, well I just checked the recipe and this is a pretty easy quest, it turns out. What is that? That's a creeper. Okay. That must have been the guy that hissed at us earlier. Uh, this is the porcelain clay. We need seven of that. Like that. And then we need three for the bucket. The seven for the crucible. And that is it. Claim reward. Please? No? I gotta pick one. Uh, ingot cast, pickaxe, head cast, or sword blade. I would probably want the ingot one, and I. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Oh, we got a ton of stuff from that. Which is awesome. Look at this stuff. Oh, we're doing great. Full guard cast. That's for the cutlass. Um, <laughs> casting table. Oh, man. And I think that unlocks something, too. Metal dust. Oh, we got to collect lots of ingots. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, we get ME chest, leadstone, thruster, or hardened energy cell. Ooh. Okay. Melting leaves. Oh. Oddly enough, if you toss leaves into a crucible, they will melt down into a little bit of water. No way. No, I'm not sure how that works either. Science, that's how. You don't get much, but it makes investing in shears early a good idea. Oh, man. Task where the player can hand in items or fluids. One can also submit the quest. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So that's the crucible we just made, right? So if I put a torch under this and leaves, I get water? <laughs> Unreal. Okay, let's make, um, let's see, let's, we gotta make some charcoal. Let's make a little bit of charcoal. I hope that works. Uh, I need more water. Good. And there we go. Let's make some torches. I wonder if torches pr put off heat in this. Oh, they do. Look at that. So if you look at the the temperature bar or this black tick thing jumps way up. <laughs> so we don't want to spam our place with torches. If we do, we want to build this far away from where we're standing. Let's put it here for, for now. Looks like our jerky finished again. Which is great. And put this over top. Is that going to work? No. Oh, can I not get this back? <laughs> No, I might have just messed up big time. Is this a crescent thing? No. Oh, no. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> I was really worried there. I just wasted the only clay I had. Oh, you jerk. Uh, let's do... We gotta put stuff away. Got to put stuff away. Uh, we'll put the torch down. Maybe this will block out the, the heat from it, too. So it said if we put leaves in... <laughs> it is unfired, though. I might have to fire it somehow, and I'm not sure how that works. It might just be a furnace thing. Did I pick it up? I did. Oh, okay, it is a furnace thing. Good. That's easy. Put stuff away. Let's eat this. I think this is my first time getting to full hunger. Or not hungry. Since I started. <laughs> Dang, guys. Alright, and... Now we try it. So, yeah, it's working. It looks like it's fairly slow. I think we need a thousand MB and we're at like 25, 26. Yeah, so it takes quite a bit of time. There might be a way of speeding it up. Did it have a speed on that? It does. 0.1 per tick. I wonder how you increase that. Might need more heat. Okay, so I've been trying to figure out what to do next year. I made the dagger from the, those parts we had. Because why not? 
I guess we can fire this. This is a clay bucket. Um, I'm gonna make some more ammo for the needle gun, which was arrows and gunpowder, because I'm tired of running out during the day and not <laughs> not having any ammo when I think I do. Uh, I was looking at the ore multiplication quest. It says we have to go to the city to get the parts for this. Hmm. Is there no way to make clay? Do it with slag. That's the only one. Hmm. So yeah, that's probably true. I'm pretty sure we can make grout though, right? Alright, is a clay bucket good enough? <laughs> We need a bucket for this quest. It might need to be an iron one. This is still converting. It's almost done. Let's give it a few more leaves. I'm going to try and move this to the pyrothuium stuff. It looks like it's just about day as well. Uh, okay, we're going to go out. Oh. I think that's one of those thief guys, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, okay, we're good. All is good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> now, there's all the spiders on the roof, too. It's alright. Everything's fine. <gasps> oh, I almost got stuck outside there. <laughs> Okay, got that guy. Let's get the spider, good. Oh, there's another one there. Don't you blow up on me. Is that guy quick? No, he's not. I thought he was for a second. Good, good. Now oh, we're getting the hang of this, eh? Eh? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, there's a guy up there. That was scary. Okay, the one thing I need, I'm not picking up. I got a heart. Oh, I got a heart, guys. Yes. Ha ha ha. Everything's going good for me. Mushrooms. I uh, will toss a string. We got lots of string. Don't let them out. Don't let them out. Good. Grab the drops. Grab the bones. And we should be good for a while if we can get some bones here. We really need the bones for the trees. I'm going to have to make a watering can soon, I think, though. All right, everybody. So we're just about out of time for this episode. Uh, but it looks like the leaves finished converting. Let's try to pick it up. Very nice. Can we do the quest with this, or is it going to want an iron bucket? It wants an iron bucket. Darn it. <laughs> I was afraid of that. I cooked up our silkworms there. So let's... Uh, Let's do this, I guess. Here, I'm going to eat one of these. Just for diversity in our diet. And by one, I mean three. <laughs> or all of them. Just to get them out of my inventory. They seem to give a lot of saturation, these guys. I think that's what this yellow bit is on the hunger bar. So it's maybe a good thing. Like a pretty good food source. Ah. <laughs> Can we place this water? Let's try that out. I saw somebody in the comments say you cannot make infinite springs in this mod pack. Okay, we can. Oh, is this going to be good water? It is salt water. Darn it. <laughs> is all water salt water then? I, I guess. Um, I'm going to try to pick this up. Wow, you actually can't make infinite springs. I do like that. Okay, one more thing we're going to try. I'm going to try move this to the pyrothuium stuff and see if it converts stuff quicker. Uh, so if we let this loose. Does that flow over? I can't remember. No, i got to break that too. Okay, I don't want to move this stuff inside, like inside our our house there because I'm pretty sure oh maybe I should get this to go all the way <laughs> because if I catch on fire I don't have any water nearby to put me out so let's do that 
Whoa, did I make a cobblestone generator? Like an actual half decent one there? Let's do this, just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> and I need to run. I kind of did. Oh, uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. That is not too bad, actually. Three at once. I like that. Um, what I'm tr oh no 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 oh no no no. <laughs> what I'm trying to do though is put this over top. Hopefully that's okay, not over the source. Oh, I'm not standing. Oh, I'm not standing in a good place at all here. This is terrible. All right, now I'm just about have heat stroke because <laughs> that was hot. Uh, let's put this in. 0.5 per tick. That's way faster. Five times quicker. Okay, that's the way to do it. You know, I broke my shears earlier in this episode too, so I need more shears. Uh, I'm going to cook up some more iron for those. We can make our bucket here. Good. That's salt water. Uh, I'm going to grab this. Hopefully I didn't wreck the water by placing it. Mm, yes, good. Oh, we get all three of these. Oh, nice. Very nice. All right, we got water from that, which we need right now after catching on fire. <laughs> um, to make our shears. Oh, yes. So good. And we can get apples from oak saplings, so that's pretty important, too. I'm going to put them away for now, though. Because uh, what when I uh, took the hard route, I didn't get an oak sapling. I got these birch saplings instead. Let's get some more leaves and put these in here. All right. Well, this is going pretty good. We got our cobblestone generator and our amazing crucible here. What more could we want, really? <laughs> How can I make this not light me on fire? If I put a half slab here, I wonder if I'll be fine then. Or I could automate this with the... Wait a second. What did I do with that hammer? If I use the autonomous activator next to this and that hammer... One last thing. <laughs> I really need to end the episode, but I just want to try this out. Where did I put that hammer? Did I miss it? Is it my inventory? I don't see it anywhere. Here, I'm going to grab those. What on earth did I do with that? I'm going to make another one. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> it's probably on me or something stupid, but... Oh, it is. I just saw it. Darn it. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Oh, no. We have to hurry. We have to hurry. Let's do this. Put this here, put this there. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, I catch on fire, that's what happens. I think it's trying to do something. Okay, that might have to you might have to do it in your inventory, not as a block placed. I never actually tried it. Now that I think of it. <laughs> I think it only works like this. No. I have no idea how this works. Is it a left click deal? Oh. I think I had that set on right click. Okay, I understand. Uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We made some pretty good progress here. Looks like we're going to have to go to that city soon. Try to find it. Um, but thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.